In the assessment and plan section of your chart note, you will see a medications template tool. This is typically where the provider will document any medication changes that were made during today's visit. When you click the medication button, you will see several options, including adding, renewing, and discontinuing a medication. We'll go through an example of adding a medication in this video. After selecting Add Medication, you will be prompted with a search dialog. If you see the medication in your most recent list, then simply select it from there. This most recent list will display the last 25 most commonly prescribed medications for the user that is currently logged in. If you do not see the medication in your most recent list, then you must search for it by placing your cursor in the search box and typing the medication name. When searching, all you need is at least three letters. You do not have to type the entire name. Click Search or hit the Enter key on your keyboard. When you see the medication you're looking for, highlight it and click Select. Or just simply double click the medication name. From the Prescribed Medication dialog, enter the script information. There is a lot of information in this dialog, but the most important fields are the SIG fields and the transmission type. If the medication you selected has a generic option, you will see that at the top with the option to switch to it by clicking the button. Keep in mind that the options you are given in the form field may change depending on brand versus generic. Next, fill in the dosing instructions by clicking the dropdowns or typing in the fields. Dose, frequency, dispense, and refills are all required. If you have additional instructions for the patient when taking this medication, add them in the additional SIG field. You can create a custom list of additional SIG options by clicking Edit. The day's supply should automatically calculate based on what you entered in the dose and dispense fields. If you want to start over, you can click Clear and it will clear all the fields above. You will see a preview of the SIG below the data fields. The started field will default to today. If this is a short-term medication that you are sure you will not renew, you can click the Ended checkbox and add the date the script will end. Come this date, Clinical will automatically end the script for you, saving you time at the patient's next visit. If the patient is asked not to fill this script right away, or if it is a Schedule II controlled substance, click the checkbox for Earliest Fill Date and enter the date in which he or she is allowed to get it filled. Earliest Fill Date is required for Schedule II medications, but is optional for the rest. In the upper right corner, you will see the Medication History Consent button, which when clicked, will take you to the dialog allowing you to document whether the patient has given consent or not. This is consent to view the patient's medication history, which is a separate tool to the right. If the medication history button is available, it will display any medications the patient has gotten filled in the past two years, regardless of ordering provider. The availability of this information is dependent upon the patient's insurance company. Same thing goes for medication eligibility. You may or may not see information in this dialog depending on what information is provided to us from the Pharmacy Benefit Manager, or PBM. Medication info will always be available and will allow you to view information such as typical uses, side effects, interactions, storage instructions, etc., with the option to print it for your patient if so desired. If there are any forms of this medication that have been taken off the market, the Inactive Meds button will be available and will display a list of those medications. The Formulary section will display coverage information about the currently selected medication, as well as any drug alternatives if available. Again, this information is coming from the PBM and may or may not be present. Same thing goes for the payer field. If the PBM has multiple payers on file, it will output them here so that you can select the correct one. Your transmission options are hand prescription to patient to be used if you are physically giving a script to the patient today, or e-prescribe. 
To the right is a diagnosis dropdown that will allow you to select a reason as to why you're prescribing this medication, which will be included on the script. This is only necessary if you know the insurance requires this information. Next, you have the option to document that you gave a sample of this medication to the patient today. When you click the checkbox for sample, you will have the ability to document the lot and expiration date. If you do not plan to submit a script for this medication, but simply just need to document that you administered this med during today's visit, you can check the box for Administered During Visit. When you do so, the transmission will default to Hand to Patient, and the Ended field will default to Tomorrow's Date. Lastly, if you originally ordered this script outside of the electronic chart, and are just now entering it in here so the patient's electronic chart is complete, you can select the box for Initial Order Created Outside of Clinical. This was originally added for meaningful use purposes. The electronic prior authorization status will display above your navigation options. Please see our videos on this topic for more information. If you decide to not proceed with filling this script, you can click Cancel and this dialog will close. Or if you changed your mind and would like to select a different medication, you can click back to go back to the search dialog. Otherwise, once you have entered all the applicable information for this script, click Next. You will then receive a confirmation dialog that allows you to visually confirm the information prior to submitting it to the pharmacy. If you notice incorrect information, Click Revise at the bottom, and you will be taken back to the Prescribed Medication dialog. If all the information looks accurate, select your provider's location, if necessary. Then select the applicable pharmacy if you are e-prescribing. Remember, if you do not see the requested pharmacy in this dropdown, you can click Manage Patient Pharmacies to search and select the correct one. If this is a controlled substance, the Ready to Sign checkbox should be selected and you would be prompted for credentials after proceeding. Click Confirm and Send to finalize your script. The script will then be sent to the pharmacy and you will see the medication details appear on the face sheet and in your chart note.